Hello friends. So today's video is going to be going over the supply chain shortage that you may or may not have seen some information about. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. So I'll get into details about that after talking about the supply chain shortage involving books. And then at the very end, I'm gonna be discussing why I'm doing the giveaway a specific way. Regardless, people have been discussing recently that there is a shortage when it comes to the supplies that go into making books, print books, so that if there are print books that you're wanting, make sure to pre-order now. That's probably what some of you have been seeing. And I was talking to my friend Jess from the channel Jess Owens, I'll have her link down below. I was talking to her about this and she was nice enough to send me this uh, link of a thread on Twitter because I never go on Twitter, so she keeps me up to date on things. But it's this thread of somebody taking the time to explain all of this. And so I'll have this thread linked. A big thank you to this person who made took the time to make this thread. Uh, but also I wanted to share it here so that more of you have this information. A rough overview is essentially that all the things that go into making books, there is a shortage of the things that go into making it as well as the people that would normally be working in the places where all this comes together. As a result for all of us who like to purchase print books, that means that accessibility is going to be limited, especially around the holidays and for newer books. There's just not much any bookseller or any one person can do. And the details are in this thread. So kind of kicking it off, it says, we found that a lot of folks are having a hard time wrapping their heads around the supply chain issues. So here is a thread doing my best to explain. Paper. There's a paper shortage, which is driving up costs. Demand for wood is super high. You may have heard about lumber shortages and there isn't enough to go around, which causes delays in obtaining materials to make paper and increases the cost. Paper mills have been cutting production for years due to lack of demand. Then the pandemic hit and production was cut even more. The demand has increased much more than expected and paper mills just don't have the raw materials or the workforce to keep up. There's also a disruption in supply from foreign mills because the cost to ship from Asia, where we've gotten a lot of paper in the past, has more than tripled. Fun fact, the paper shortage also affects things like paper towels and toilet paper. All that means that the cost of paper has increased dramatically, plus longer production times due to decreased domestic and foreign production. This of course affects books because it's where the supply chain starts. Also, cardboard is getting more scarce because of all of these same reasons, which means less materials for boxes. They then go on to talk about shortages involving printing. Printing. The printing industry is experiencing this high cost of paper shortages and lag time in paper production. Plus, there is a big shortage of workers at printers, which further delays production of books. With printing presses getting busier as the year goes on, they will become backed up. This, on top of the loss of a couple major book manufacturers that closed in the past couple years, means that all these book projects, the same amount or more, are going through a smaller funnel. Going now into warehouses, it says, these are also experiencing worker shortages due to, I'm gonna, <laughs> I was gonna call it the C word, but obviously I'm not, I shouldn't say the C word because it's gonna sound like something else, but I just like, I don't know, if, are we allowed to say this on YouTube? I don't know. I'm gonna call it cookies because everybody loves cookies. It's a much more pleasant thought than what <laughs> that word actually is. These are also experiencing worker shortages due to cookies, which means less people to pick, pack, and ship, which equals more delays. Factory fires are also up 150% because of gaps in regulations and process execution and a lack of skilled labor in warehouses. Shipping. There are a lot of dock workers in quarantine, which means shipments from overseas are delayed. There's been a shipping container shortage as well. All of this has contributed to a huge spike in cost of international shipping and many publishers print books overseas. There's also port congestion, cookie outbreaks in factories. Oh my gosh, if it was actually cookie outbreaks. The container shortage, the cardboard shortage, etc. Plus there's a shortage of truck drivers as well due to cookies. Don't get me started on the worker shortages because companies won't pay or give healthcare. As you can see, literally every piece of the supply chain is disrupted in some way. This means major delays in getting books printed and shipped at both ends of the process, which affects pretty much any order. If a store doesn't have a book in stock slash sells out, it could be six to eight weeks before we can get more. If we have a book in stock that we immediately ship out, delays will be less, but there will likely still be shipping delays, especially as we get closer to the holidays. All this to say, please order now for the holidays and please do not get angry 
at or blame bookstores, especially indies or bookstore workers. This is in no way our fault and we are doing our absolute best. These delays are happening in all retail. Don't be rude. Likely you've already experienced delays in orders, but expect them to get worse as we roll into holiday season, which really begins now. Thanks for coming to my supply chain TED talk. I really don't have to do any explaining because they did such a great job going into detail about so many aspects of all this. So I think you get the gist. Basically, if you want a book that is a newer release that you want to get for around the holidays, you gotta pretty much order it now. This also is something they didn't mention, but I've seen authors mentioning this as well. You might see some books that were originally anticipated releases for the second half of the year delayed and that it's getting pushed back further, maybe even into next year. So that's another thing, probably anticipated release dates are not exactly set in stone at this point. If you see a release date, maybe go into it being like, that's a projected date, but might not actually come out on that day. Like they said, but I also want to emphasize this. I mean, I don't, I'm not your parent. I don't need to tell you, but I just, I really love my local used bookstores. And even though they take in a lot of used books, they do often have newer books as well. And, you know, I know the holidays can be stressful and everything. Just everybody should be exceptionally nice to those workers because there are going to be people, likely not any of you, but there are probably gonna be people that are rude and get all upset because they don't realize that the world doesn't revolve around them and there's a book that they want and the bookstore doesn't have it. And they're gonna be like, you're a bookstore. How could you not have it? Isn't this a new release? And they're gonna get all, just they're gonna be buttholes basically. So, you know, if you could be extra, extra nice to booksellers, cool you know i think that that would be awesome i don't know how many of you have worked retail before i have worked retail before i have worked retail on black friday before that's not fun so you know if somebody comes along and they're just really understanding and really patient it means a lot <laughs> to retail workers anyway how the giveaway is going to work because obviously pre-ordering books or purchasing books does not alleviate all of the issues going around the world that are causing this supply chain shortage. However, pre-ordering books can help ensure that your, your chances are higher of actually getting the book when it comes out or around its release date. If you wait, then it's probably gonna have sold out from all the people who did pre-order, and then you might have to wait even longer. Not the end of the world, right? It, it's okay if we have to wait a little bit for books. However, I know there are a lot of you who Maybe you really wanna get a certain book for a certain someone for the holidays. Maybe you wanna get one for yourself. Maybe it's been a rough year and you wanna treat yourself. You know, you wanna get that book, whatever the case may be. I know that sometimes people financially just they can't do that right now or brand new books, you know, they wanna wait until maybe they get a gift card and they get it with a gift card, but then if they wait, then they might not be able to get it. Whatever the case may be, I don't know your personal life, but I want to basically pre-order books for five of you. I wish I could do more. I wish I could pre-order books for everybody who wants books, but I'm gonna have three people here and then two people over on Instagram. And I'll have a specific picture over on my Instagram and to enter, just comment and tag some other people that you think would be interested in entering this giveaway. That's how you'll enter on Instagram here on YouTube. Just comment down below and have the book emoji in, you can have the stack or you can have the open book emoji in your comment. The limit, if you will, for the cost of the book will be somewhere around $20 per person. I know sometimes with tax and everything, it might go over a little bit, but somewhere around $20 per person. So that way there can be five of you. It's like essentially a hundred dollar giveaway. I know it's not the most amount, but it's, it's like my very early Christmas gift to all of you. And if there's anybody else here on booktube or in the book community that has the means or has another idea that's similar to this, go for it. I'm not gonna be weird and be like, this was my nice idea or something. If you, if we can come together and help a bunch of people get books, I think that would be really nice. I will announce the giveaway winners on my community tab in one week for people here on YouTube and then the Instagram winners I will announce on my Instagram stories. So definitely be on the lookout for the community tab and the Instagram stories. This is international, so it's okay if you're not US based. You can enter both here on YouTube and on Instagram, but you can't win twice. You can only win once, but obviously your chances are higher if you enter in both places. For the actual books that are options, it just has to be something that would be a pre-order. So not just a random book that you, you think sounds good or something. The reason that I want it to be a book to have be a pre-order 
is to help out authors because I know I'm not an expert. I don't work in publishing, but from what I know, how well pre-order does and first week sales, how well that does affects how the publishing industry kind of sees that author and the chances of them wanting to sign them again or if it's the first book in a series, how likely they're going to be to consider signing them to finish the series. And we all have seen instances where an author writes a book and maybe doesn't do super well for a while and then they never get to finish the series. And that's always a bummer. So I want us to specifically be focusing on these newer books because I think what's going to happen, one, I think there are still a lot of people in the world who are experiencing financial hardship and just can't purchase books right now when they normally would have. And then on top of that, I think a lot of people maybe might cut back on buying newer books because they're like, well, I'll just, I'll just get something else. And all the excitement that normally goes into a book release, I just think that authors are almost going to be, the numbers aren't going to match what they would be if we weren't experiencing all of this, right? And, and I want authors to have like a fair chance as much as possible uh, to have an even playing field with where they would have been had they been signed in the past and there wasn't all of this going on. There also might be people that just figure, Ugh, if there's a delay, I might as well wait anyway. And then they might not want to get the book that they normally would have. I believe that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully with our combined efforts, we can help out all these authors who are affected by all this. I know we won't get our books maybe right when we want them. We might have to face these delays. That's okay. I just want to help out as many authors as I can and as many of you as I can. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic, lovely day and I'll see you all later. Bye.